Hi, and welcome back to Inky Crafty Fun. I've showed you in the past how to mount your clear mount stamps, but I just got a new wood mount set here, and I thought I would show you how to work with those. So this is the Papillon Potpourri. This is the butterfly bundle. It was part of um, <clears throat> September's deal. You got the, the stamps and the punch, um, and I ordered them as a wood mount set because sometimes I like to use the wood. Actually, also, um, I found that for my kids, they work a little bit better with the wood blocks. It's easier for them. They don't get as frustrated if the stamps fall off the clear block. So I knew that my girls were really going to like these butterflies, so I got them as a wood mount set. Um, so what you get in here is the um, contact sheet. It has the stickers um, to put on the blocks after you've put the stamps on them. And it's sort of the same process as the clear mount, but it's a little bit different. So I'll show you what I've got here. I've got a whole bunch of wood blocks. And I've got my stamps. And what I usually do is I pop them all out and I kind of see what's going to go with what one, which block. So I've got three larger wood blocks here and I have three larger butterflies. So that's pretty much how that's going to work out. And I've got three smaller butterflies and three smaller wood blocks. So I'm going to put those together. And then last I have a little set of antennas here and those are going to go. Oh my gosh, I can't get them out. Those are going to go on that last little block. And then it's pretty easy from there. So the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to take your stamp, you're going to peel that backing off, you're going to take the block, and you're going to stick it on there. And that one's done. So it's pretty pretty quick and straightforward. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's pretty much the same idea as the wood mount, as the clear mount. It's just... Um, you just stick them onto the blocks. The other thing that you could do um, is you can, there is a way to convert these into clear mount stamps. What I might do is um, you can take this image off and stick it right onto here and then you can mount that right onto your, the, the clear block will stick to this. And like I said, I, I also have um, use that two-way glue pen over some of my clear mount stamps to make them stick a little bit better and if you wanted to convert your wood mounts to clear you could do a similar idea and actually I'll, I'll try to link to that video here and you can see what I'm talking about but I'm just gonna set these right up as wood for now because I don't have very many wood sets and like I said I know my girls are really gonna like these and it's gonna be easier for them to to um, to handle those wood blocks so that's it. And I've got a couple more. I'll finish those later. But just to give you an idea, so I've got this is the butterfly that has made up of all the flowers. The larger one. I'm going to flip that block over. Peel off the sticker. I want to make sure I'm putting it the same way that it's on the on the image. And there you go. That's pretty much it. And here I could do the same thing with the antenna set. I want to make sure that I'm putting it the same way Oops, that the stamp is on there. So I've got the antennas pointing up over here. I want to have the antennas pointing up on the block. And here's my my flat image stamp. And I'm just going to take this as the totally filled in sticker and stick it on there. Now another thing that I just wanted to mention is that I can actually already tell with this one. If you st start using your stamps and you feel like they are you're getting the outline edge and on this one I can feel that it's a little bit raised in spots and it's going to probably stamp onto the image, onto the paper and make me a little angry. What you can do is just take your scissors here and you can trim down the edge of that stamp a little bit. Actually these might not be the best scissors. I might have to get my larger craft scissors, but you can trim down that edging so that it doesn't show up when you stamp. So that is pretty much that. That's how you set up your wood mount stamps. If you have any questions, you can leave them or any comments right below this video, or you can always come over to my site, www.inkycraftyfun.com, and I have lots of other tips and tricks on how to use your stamps and tools from Stampin' Up. Um, and thanks for stopping by. Okay, bye.